Alrighty, 2A is stop, look and listen. It is time to put our thinking hats on, switch our listening ears on, and get ready to do some learning. Now before we get started, I would just like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today. I would also like to pay my respect to the elders, past, present and emerging. Now before we get started, can anyone raise their hand to tell me what some of my classroom expectations are? Yeah? Yes, raising your hand when you would like to speak. Anyone else? No wandering around the classroom, yeah? Come on, one more. Yes, so giving it your best, always, always giving your absolute best for the tasks. Alrighty, so on the board, my classroom expectations say to raise your hand when you would like to speak, have your listening ears on, thinking hats on, following instructions the first time, the first time, the only time, alrighty? No wandering around our classroom and completing our work to the best of our ability. Now we're going to begin today's lesson, or today in general, with some maths. Now our learning goals are two. So by the end of this lesson, you must be able to use the terms past and two to the hour correctly. You must also be able to illustrate the time on an analog clock and you must also be able to identify the same time on an analog clock and digital clock. Now with that last learning goal, analog clock, digital clock. Clock, a clock's just a clock. So then what, if a clock's just a clock, what is the difference between an analog clock and a digital clock? Does anyone know? Can anyone remember? Yeah? Yes, so the digital clock is the electronic one. The one that, has, that shows the two dots in the middle to show the hour and the minutes. So this is how we do it. For example, we are starting today at nine o'clock. So this is a digital one. That's a digital clock. What would be um, an analog, the analog clock? Yeah, so the analog clock is the big circle one. So this is the one that's just... Yes, exactly right. So this is the one that tells us the time on a clock face. So nine o'clock. How would I draw this on an analog clock then? A little bit stuck, are we? All right, let's get back to the digital clock then. On our digital clock, which, which part of the digital clock tells us the hour? Yes, so the nine. The nine tells us the hour. So that means these, the two zeros mean it is the minutes. Great job. So, I'm going to go on to our next slide. Which hand would tell us the hour? So if we know that 9 o'clock is the hour on the digital, what hand would we draw on our analog clock? Yes, the short hand. So we would like to draw the short hand on the 9. Now, double zero. If we already know this says nine o'clock, how do we know when to use nine o'clock? How would we write nine o'clock? Where would our minute hand go? Can anyone remember? Yes, so anytime it is o'clock, so it's not minutes past anything, it's just exactly nine o'clock, not one minute past, not one minute before, exactly nine o'clock, 
The minute hand, the long hand, is on the 12. Alright, last question. How many minutes are there in an hour? Can anyone remember? Can anyone remember how many minutes it is from 12 to 1? Five, so there's five minutes here. When the minute hands on the two, it's 10. Now if we go all the way around, it will tell us how many minutes there are. So, we're gonna do some counting up in fives, starting at the 12, so we've got zero. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Perfect, so there are 60 minutes in an hour. I'll just rub this off just in case you need to use this again. Actually, I might leave the hour and the minutes there just in case you forget. I'll leave the clock there as well. And we'll just re re erase the hands. Alrighty, moving on. Let's do some together now, shall we? So the first one. The hour hand is pointing at the nine. And the minute hand is pointing at the three. Now, if the minute hand is at the three, is it three minutes past nine? No, exactly. It is not three past nine. It is 15 past nine. Remember, it's going up in fives. So we've got five minutes here, 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here. So on our clock, five, 10, 15. So 15 minutes past nine. How else could we say that? How else could we say is 9, 15? 15 minutes past nine. Anyone think of another way we could say it? Yes, exactly. It is quarter past nine. So 9.15 is also known as quarter past nine. Keyword, past. Keyword. Alrighty, moving on to the next one. Where is our hour hand pointing? Yes, it is pointing at the nine again. Now, we can see that it's not directly on the number nine. It is exactly in between the nine and the ten. If it's exactly between the nine and the ten, does that mean it's half past nine? Is that how we would refer to it? Yes. So, nine and thirty is the same as half past. Keyword again, here we are. Keyword past. It is half past nine. Alrighty, moving on to the last one. The minute, the hour hand. Where is the hour hand again? Year two? Yep, we've got it at the nine. Again. <laughs> but we can now see that it is not as close to the nine as it was up here. It is now closer to the 10. That was a little hint if you weren't paying attention. So if the hour hand is pointing just before the 10, and the minute hand is pointing on the 9, how many minutes is it? Now remember, when we get to each number, it goes up in fives. Now, better remember there's little lines here that show the other minutes, so this would be 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, and it goes all the way around, right? So if it's at the nine, how many minutes is that past nine? Forty-five, perfect. So if it's nine forty-five or forty-five minutes past nine, what's another way we could say it? So we had quarter past nine, we had half past nine, 
Yes, exactly. Another way we can say it, year two is quarter two. So on our clock, if we were to split it exactly into four sections, we'd have one, two, three, four equal quarters. Now from here to here, we know it's quarter past. From here to here, we know it is half past. From here to here, we know that Sorry, not that part, you two. From here to here is another quarter. So if the minute hand is directly on the nine, that means it is quarter two. Alrighty, now that we have done a few together, I would, do, I would like you to work with your elbow partners. So on the board, I have got a few digital clocks we are going to do one at a time. Getting out your whiteboards from your desks, I would like you to draw your clock. A nice big clock on your whiteboards. Now I'm going to show you another time, again, how to do your clocks. And as you have forgotten. So, we want to draw one nice big circle. Take up your whole whiteboard, because I want you to be showing me your answers when you have done it. So you, once you have drawn your circle, board's up. Perfect. Next, I would like you to write number 12, 6, 3, and nine. Show me your boards once you've got that. Yep. And now we're going to fill in the gaps. One, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven. And putting a little circle in the middle, which is the part that helps hold the hands in place. So once you have drawn on your little whiteboards your own analog clock, with your partner, I would like you to write and draw 130. Okay, great character. So um, this little activity is more of a we do. So we just did a whole heap together as a class. I asked them the questions. Um, now I'm doing a little bit of separation to give them a bit more, I guess you could say ownership or like more control more freedom, more time to try and do it by themselves, but know that if they need help, they can go check with their elbow partners. Um, so yes, I've just got five on the board for them to do. After each one, so I get, I'm gonna get them to do one at a time, so write one thirty on their boards, and then essentially they would raise their little white boards to show me, and then I would be able to tell them, yes, not quite, and like, let them have a bit of, like, in, in, just time to do it by themselves. All right, teacher. Alrighty, so showing me your last one, 10 past one, how did we do that one? Great job. Now I'd like you to rub off your whiteboards. We are now going to complete a worksheet. Um, so I've got three worksheets. The first one is the standard one. So the standard one is got two parts to it. So it's writing the clock in words. So they would do like quarter past, quarter to, o'clock, half past. The second part of it is to write the digital time from the analog clock. So that's just the standard one. So this is gonna be for the average students, the ones that are in average level. Um, the enabled one, I've just given them just the one one part only like worksheet and it's just got 10 questions i have given them options to like choose so that they're not kind of just in the unknown they have a little bit of an idea based on these answers now the extended one i didn't extend it too much only because time is still very new to them and um so i kept the first sheet of the standard so this is for the this is for the extended um, they have the first sheet of the standard one and then I've given them a second sheet. So the second sheet I have just written like it in words. By reading the words they have to draw it in the clock. And then once they've done that they have to match it to the digital um, clock. So those are the worksheets. Um, yeah. right. Teacher mode again. Alrighty, year two, some of you are having a little bit of trouble. Now on the board, I have put on the O'clock. 
quarter past, quarter to. I have forgot to add in the half past. So this is half past, so it'd be down the bottom. Um, so remember, refer to this if you were stuck. If you need help, raise your hands. I will come around and give you some assistance. Alrighty. Stop, look, and listen. Pencils down, eyes to the front. How do we feel about telling the time? I would like you to give me a thumbs up if you are happy and confident. Thumbs kind of halfway like, yes, I'm getting the hang of it, but maybe a little bit more practice. And thumbs down if you just, you're just you still stuck and you still have no idea. No worries, okay, moving for the next lesson, we are going to do a little bit more revision. Stick on a little bit more of quarter past, quarter two, half past and o'clock. You may pack your maths books up and get ready for some English.